What's up everybody? I'm back and in this video I'm going to go over my final thoughts and opinion on a new paddle that one of my buddies hooked me up with and told me to give a, um, wanted me to give it a whirl and see what I thought about it. This is called um, Ophion and this company is out of Slovenia and I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with like Estonia, Slovenia, anything with the last Vania in it. They pretty much my guess is they they're born into a bat of fiberglass resin. They have they they have perfected composite technology. There's a lot of, slalom is huge out there. They you know I think it's like a curriculum in their high school is to have, to be like a good slalom paddler. You got to get like a college like a high school credit just in a slalom boat, which is crazy to me here in the U.S. But yeah, um, looking at I'm gonna go over like I got to use this paddle. I got to use it um, a few times over the weekend. I, I've used it for maybe about a week and got like four or five runs with it now. Um, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> well, it, okay, there. This you. this model right here is called the Katana. This is a Katana All Star, which is what Ophion's calling their kind of all around paddle. It's it's good for play boating, for creaking. Um, it's kind of like I guess it falls in a category similar to like what Warner would be doing with their Powerhouse. So it's kind of similar to the powerhouse. Blade-wise, it's different. I think it's different because it has this this down tilt blade. One thing, one thing that I noticed on this paddle, using it is fiberglass. They do have a wide variety of paddles. I mean, we're talking canoe paddles, stand-up paddleboard paddles, slalom paddles, bent shaft, you name it. Go to their website, check out the OfeonPaddles.com. Check out their website, look over. This company, uh, apparently they've been around for a while. They're not big here in the U.S. I've actually heard of them. I've heard of the paddles. I've just never used one. But this is a fiberglass shaft. And one thing I notice is, oh my God, is this thing stiff. This paddle is so freaking stiff. I have never used a fiberglass that is that stiff. When you look at Warner, Warner has this really hard flex to it. This thing, this thing is a beast. It's, one thing it is, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy, so if you're buying it, it reminds me of those imminent paddles that I tried for a while. It reminds me of those. It feels like a tank, though. This thing feels like it, like it could last through anything. Um, I was really impressed. I was impressed by the amount of power that this paddle had. It had a good, good power pull. Where I thought it, um, it had a really nice swing rate. Even though the shaft is heavy, the blades are very light. So the swing rate gives you this this quick swing rate where it's not it doesn't feel as heavy as what when I'm holding it like this I'm like wow that feels heavy but the weight is all right here in the shaft not necessarily in the blades I actually think this Warner blades a little heavier which is crazy you know the the Warner's a lighter paddle overall this is a lighter paddle than this one but it's like this didn't feel heavy while I'm using it it's got a nice swing rate to it and I think it's got these little thinner blades but man they're tough you can even see, I actually got it wedged in between a rock and it didn't break. I actually, I took a stroke, if you watch my uh, North Fork video in the Waka, I took a stroke and it locked in and I fell on the blade and the blade just popped up. It actually moved the rock. It moved and it just slid off the rock. I was impressed on how well, I was like, uh-oh, I think I just broke the paddle. But um, another thing, this has got something called the power grip on it. I don't know if you guys can see, this is called, but it's just really grippy surface that is an after after it's ten dollars extra that they put on there and it gives you a really good grip i've never felt a paddle with this good a grip one thing it will do i don't know if you can see those cuts in my hand it actually wore like my hand down and i've got pretty i got pretty tough hands these hands were basically forged in iron you know when i was born i forged these in iron and then they come out like like you know um like Thor's hammer. That's what it feels like. It's like the way the, the elf made like Forge, uh, Thor's hammer. That's how these hands were made. And it actually hurt my hand. That hurts. I actually came off and I was bleeding. So that, that power grip at first, I thought it was a good idea. But after using it, I'm just like, I'm like, stay with the tape, man. I would stay right here with this tape before I would go with the power grip. If I kept this paddle, I'd actually tape it up, but I'm going to give it back to Andrew. Um, and, you know, I got to use it. I did hit the shaft pretty good, and it held up extremely well. You can order one off uh, Ophion's website, 
and he ordered it and he had it in like 10 days so this is not a pre-order this is not a prototype this is an actual paddle here it is i used it and it it, it came it, it came to him they also have a carbon version i'd be really interested in, in using they have the blade ford carbon so they have i love like like gallusport and um g form g g g power they have um the blade, like the bench shaft where the you're holding here and the blade's in front of the hand, I really love those. I got to use um, a G-Form paddle. G, is it G-Form? G-Power. I got to use a G-Power paddle bench shaft, and I really love that bent grip on there. These guys have that too, and I would highly recommend checking that out. In closing thought, would I use one of these? I think so. I think they're pretty good. Um, I like the blade. I think it's... I think it's a good, to me it feels like you could take this thing, you could drag it down rocks, it feels like it could take a beating and just keep on going. Um, I'm impressed by them. I am impressed by these guys. They are available right now, you know, by the end of the week. You could be doing, you know, if you ordered one today, you know, you could have one in a couple weeks and you could be doing PK twirls all day long, coming off of drops, being all cool and, you know, maybe doing some rebounds like that. That's a rebound. Ow, shit. That's a hard paddle, by the way. Um, Check these guys out. You can get this in different colors. There's a lot of varieties on this. So, so yeah, that's all I got on the Ophion Katana um, All-Star, by the way. Katana All-Star. Apparently, there's other, there's other types of Katana out there. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Look at that. What's this? How dumb. That's so dumb.